UT, what it do? It's your boy Steph. Uh, today, man, I appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel and liking the video. Uh, we're going to talk about this Dr. Dre situation because a lot of you guys are hitting me up about this situation. I'm going to just say this, fellas. It's not going to stop. Right? Hypergamy is like... Hypergamy is like the computer on level a million. Women are always going to saw after the highest value man that they can get. It's been like this since the beginning of time. And no matter how many videos I make, no matter how many times I've gotten hurt, no matter how many times you've gotten hurt, it doesn't matter. The inevitableness of female nature is hypergamy. That is the truth. And, and, and it's not gonna change. So, you know, you got people saying, you know, he, he got what he deserved because he was hitting on her. He was being abusive in the relationship and stuff like that. Well, we don't even know what, what, what's been going on behind closed doors. But what we do know was he was at a ceremony of his grandmother passing away and his ex-wife did not care. Jeff Bezos' wife does not care. Will Smith's wife does not care. And we just see a pattern. It's like as if when a woman ultimate goal is to get married and to have a relationship. That's the woman's ultimate goal. I mean, they're crying about it on social media every day. Every day they're crying about why they're, they, they want a relationship. Right? Every day. And when they get in that relationship, they start to not work on themselves. And then as soon as you put a ring on it, she becomes comfortable, she gets fat, and then she divorces you, and she takes all your money. Once again, bro, what benefit do you as a man get from marriage what benefit what benefit are you getting she already extracted millions of dollars from him while he was at his lowest point in his life and now she just did this to him while he at his lowest of the lowest point in his life because they don't care see a woman doesn't care that you're a six and this chat is a nine. They're brutal, they don't care. Now they can talk and say things to you to make it seem like they care, make it seem like they like you, but the action showed that bro, they do, she do not like you. She don't like you like that dog. She don't want you like that bro. That's, that's life, it's not gonna change. From here on now, fam, the only thing you can do is level up. It's true. The chicks that you wanted in high school, bro, they're not going to want you right now. They're going to want you when you're successful. And by the time, and by the time you're successful, by the time you, you reach your peak, you don't even want her. It's true, bro. The dating game is, is, is getting worse. And women are winning. So many simps, so many beta dudes letting women do whatever they want to do. So many dudes are marrying women when they haven't proved anything. You know what? A, a woman marrying a man is like a man busting a nut on a chick that he don't even like. It's like, ugh, like, I don't even want to be with you no more. Like, I, I won. The mission is complete. That's why they fight so hard for that relationship and then they get to that end goal. It's like they just stop doing everything. That means she wanted a woman for you in the first place. That means she ain't wanting to do with you in the first place. You have to stop wasting time on chasing women. You, you can't, it, it's 2021, you can't do that no more. You can't chase women all the time. Dating is expensive. 
You trying to date multiple chicks and you ain't got your own crib. You ain't got nothing going on for yourself. You worrying about a chick. You worrying about marrying a woman. Telling y'all, bro, you put you put a woman first, you gonna fall first. You put a woman first, you gonna fall first. You gonna fall right on your face. Because the moment you fall in love with a woman, your purpose and everything goes downhill because now your emotions and your heart is invested in what she's doing, what she's talking to, who she's talking to, where she's at all the time. And you have these insecurities that make up on your brain instead of focusing on your produ productivity and getting to the bag. You can't change your face. You can't you can't change uh, your height. You can't. You done for for that. You can change your income level though. I know you're not happy. I know, I know you, you're not happy. I know you're not happy with yourself. That's why you gotta do something about it. Because these women are savages. They do not care. A woman will literally hit you up today ghost you tomorrow and never talk to you again and not not lose an inch of sleep for it because she got what she wanted she got the validation and attention by you while you still in the behind the scenes <laughs> crying because because you don't know what's going on you you sick you have no knowledge on female names you don't, you don't know what to do that's why i make these videos Get to your bag. Get, stay on your grind. Don't 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 worry about a chick. Don't worry about a chick that's not stunning you. The hypergamy is inevitable. It's not going nowhere. They're all <laughs> women are always gonna want the top ten percent guys. It is what it is, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that that the dating game is like this now, and then they have unlimited options on. on why would she want to be married now? She got unlimited dick to choose from. Unlimited flings. Unlimited relationships. Unlimited simps. She having a blast. And then she no longer... See, this is how cold women are. Women are so cold. When they're done with you, they got 20 other dudes lined up. As soon as they're done with you, they... As soon as she's done with you, she know who has next. You know who got next? Soon she done with your ass. Soon as she sucked you dry and used up every little ounce that she can get about you, she know exactly who has next. But you still trying to be morally and you still trying to, I'm being super faithful. Like, she's being super faithful. We, we're losing. Because men are simping. And it's going to be a downhill battle if it continues to be like this. It's tough. You think just because celebrities make it, they got a lot of money, they got fame. You think it's easier when they dating women? You think it's easier? Nigga, they go through the same shit we go through. They go through the same shit. This same exact. You know how you went to, you know what I'm saying, Applebee's on the date and then she ain't show up and then she texts you late talking about, oh, I'll be 15 minutes late. They go through the same thing. They go through the same thing. Your status and your money doesn't determine whether you're alpha it's your mindset. So if your mindset not right, you not going to be right, bro. You're not going to be right at all. If your mindset is on beta, beta scent mode, that's how you going to be for the rest of your life. You're going to end up like Dr. Dre. He's sick as hell. He at his lowest point in his life. She don't care. They got kids together. She don't care. No remorse. Because women are always in it for themselves. A man, you, you don't get a fucking break as a man. You don't get no break. You don't get no type of reward. What, Sweetest Day? What, Sweetest Day was last week, Saturday? I ain't seen nobody post about that shit. They don't care. Yet you still care. She finna lie to you, yet you still turn her the truth. Because you, you a soft ass bitch. That's why. You a baby.
made a bitch. You soft. You put her first instead of putting yourself first. Man, let me tell you something, bro. I ain't never gonna be no simp ass bitch for no bitch no more ever in life. I left my mama crib at 18. That was my first battle with female nature. I wasn't putting up with her shit. What the man? I ain't finna put up with her shit. Some of y'all put up with a female shit because you believe in your fucking blue pill brain. That's that's the best I can get. Captain Hulk. Captain America. That's the best I can get. I can only get her. You fucking Donald Doofy Duck looking motherfucker. You can get more than her. Because if you can pull her, you can pull another one like her. And you can pull another one like her. Because there's something about you that she liked. But when you think beta, when you think scarcity, when you let her control you, you don't want to go out with the homies. Because she mad because you going out with the homies. Not knowing that you met her when you was out with the homies. That's that blue pill thinking. You marry a woman, you get married, you get married to a chick, how you got her, you stop because she say something. Why you going to the gym? Why you working out? Bitch, didn't you see me working out at the gym staring at me and shit? They know you cold. They want to knock you off your square, but you got to stay on your square so that other women know you cold so that she can stay on her square. In order for her to stay in that shape, in that square shape, in order for her to stay, stay in that square shape, she got to know that you're in shape and she got to know that you're cold. And then other women are going to know that and then she's going to see that other women see that and that's going to make her step it the fuck up because you're alpha. You think differently than the other baby. Okay, honey, I'm not going to go tonight. You asking the motherfucker for permission to go out. That's what marriage do to you. Marriage makes you weak. I was getting my hair cut at my barber shop the other day, and I, uh, I, heard, I overheard a barber say, my wife doesn't like my beard. She tell me to cut it, so I cut it. No, oh, nigga, she telling you that because she don't want other women to stare at you, and then you listen to that dumb ass shit, because you soft. You, you soft ass bitch, because you, you listen to that shit. That's the video for today, bro. It's not gonna stop. It's not. I'm gone.